Hi Taurus, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel, Inspired by Ease. I hope you are having a, a fantastic first week of 2020 and had a wonderful New Year's. We're going to kick it off with an Animal Spirit card. Um, these readings are general. My readings also aren't date specific, so feel free to have a look back at my previous readings that I've done. Check out your moon and rising sign. And you can swap around the characters. My intention with these readings are to validate any emotions that you're feeling right now, to validate um, any kinds of uh, situation that is going on, help you gain deeper clarity about the more maybe subconscious patterns and energies that are at hand playing out, and give you some practical uh, advice uh, or encouragement, support, love, uh, whatever it is uh, to help you feel less alone and more connected to this world. So we have Crocodile, <laughs> Taurus. Let's see what else we can get. Wow. I must say, wow. Don't know if that's okay. Wow. Okay. Holy bejesus. Taurus. This, this is intense, man. Wow. I'm okay. You have cobra, black egg, and crocodile. Okay. Holy cow. Okay. I'm going to use my pendulum and see. I don't even know if I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like any of this is you. Okay, Taurus, you're kind of surprising me. You're actually presenting as Cobra. And this other person or character is a crocodile and black egg. Okay, so we have two cold-blooded uh, creatures here, I want to say. Scaly. Uh, you know, this is very primal. This is very much survival mode and instincts and everything like that and um and i don't know if this black egg is yours but we definitely have survival of the fittest dynamic kind of going on here um i'm very kind of surprised <laughs> okay so we have water and ether they're presenting in the water and ether element so they might be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, um, and you are actually presenting as a fire. So I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, so I feel like this crocodile, I don't know if this black egg is yours. I would think so. Um, and the really interesting thing is that both of these creatures lay eggs, so this is um mama bear or papa bear kind of coming out this is like protection protection mode i feel like you are actually coming more across as protector or disciplinarian here um and i want to say that you are like the baddest um of these two characters um and you know i feel that this crocodile has you know stolen this egg and has it in its mouth in the grip of its mouth in its grip um and you know very predatorial um you know is water but is very on the surface of the water looking onto land attacking you know land animals which is usually the cobra here wow the black egg represents that untouched life essence, that untouched truth, that untouched uh, desire or dream that all is inside of us. I mean, look at that, just pure white light surrounding it. The darkness and the blackness can't touch it, but something has, something really has something has has gone awry here and i think you're you know you're rising up to try to make it right to try to equal the playing field i'm hearing equal the playing field here and 
you're you're rising up. I don't think like I think reluctantly. You're not wanting to. Um, and I'm also getting drawn to the tongue of a snake. With snakes, they use their tongue to to smell and to get a good sense of their environment. So you might be basically um, also what I'm getting is that like with adrenaline rushes, all the senses except one, one or two, um, most of the senses will like just just go away and like your sight and hearing um, will intensify. So your senses might be on an ultimate high right now. You're very hyper vigilant of a certain situation. And I want to say that you're kind of like laying down the law in a certain way. Um, and if, if anyone touches this, you're ready to really pounce to really snap and attack this person and that that attack is going to be lethal king cobra the baddest animal in the animal kingdom you do not want to or at least reptile you know because your bite is lethal very lethal like very lethal to this croc and so is this croc's bite but I feel because you are on land, I mean, you're on, you're fire. Um, you're fire, but I still want to say that you're on land. You have this higher vantage point above this person. You can see, even though they're kind of on the, on the surface of the water, you still have this higher vantage point because you can crawl up in the trees. You can, you have so much more freedom and you can, you're very much, you're faster. You're, you're faster. And I want to say that your reflexes, you have really good reflexes, whether that is um, verbal, really good, like verbal comebacks, <laughs> Torres. Um, you know, you're very quick to take action where actually crocodiles as much pressure as their bite has you know they ha they have very short legs and they're this big you know reptile um they aren't as fast as you so this is very interesting i want to see if there's one more animal card that wants to come through Oh my goodness, we have fire ant. So, um, so you have double fire, you're presenting as double fire. So you're, I think you're ready to take the necessary action that, that needs to be taken here. And there is like a swarming, um, that is trying to go on with this egg. So, I mean, this could be, this could be a child, this could be someone that you dearly love this could be an asset um you know that was supposed to be hidden away and untouched and totally protected but the one thing that i do want to say to kind of like soothe you torres is that um the black egg is made out of obsidian rock you know it's hard very 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 tough and I want to say that this crocodile has no chance. You know, there's really, I I want to say, yes, there is this, I mean, this obviously this egg or whatever it is, is in some kind of danger. I'm not about fear or anything like that. But I mean, you obviously want it back in, in your lay of the land. But... But also at the same time, this egg really isn't in any harm because it's so it's so rock solid. It's so tough. It, it's gonna break these crocodiles like tooths before it gets hurt or anything. Um, and so yeah, this is really interesting. 
we also have like two we also have two characters that are very ancient you know crocodiles uh steve Irwin would talk about how these crocodiles are very very ancient um and are very dinosaur like and um are very very you know old and as far as generations and everything go um and you know snakes have you know been a symbol in religious text for so long so both of these totems have been around for a really really long time and i do want to say that um snakes in the eastern cultures and the eastern religions actually represent um spiritual divinity and and you know regeneration rebirth you know everything like this and um yeah i definitely feel that you are kind of like oh no they didn't kind of thing and you're kind of like here as a disciplinarian um to kind of like lay down the law and set things correctly and um but i think that what you're needing to know is that you know even though whatever whatever this represents to you it is heavily protected whether it's divinely spiritually protected or it's like physically protected um or it's stronger than you might think it can fend for itself maybe um or that there really is not no like immediate danger but you are wanting to swarm around it and really like get in there and and everything like that so you definitely see this as a an, an emergency kind of situation all right so let's let's go to the fairies and see what they have to say about this dynamic i i also want to say that since you are double fire um i'm actually i'm actually getting that uh that vision of boiling frogs where because you are presenting as fire and they're presenting as water it's like you are boiling the water so it's like inhospitable for them you're making okay you're making it totally inhospitable for them where they're just wanting just wanting to um uh i'm okay i'm getting like so many visions but like they're just you're making it just totally unbearable and inhospitable for them where they just want to like jump out and get out of there and they don't and they're not going to like care about this anymore and they're going to leave it behind and you're going to be able to you know snatch it back and keep it heavily guarded um also for some reason i was i was thinking about captain hook um in the animated movie peter pan um and you know this uh, you know, the crocodile and the, um, the tick, 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 uh, time and everything. So there might be some kind of, um, this crocodile is, is haunted by, or there's some kind of time constraint or there's some kind of fear maybe that you're going to like use as, your at at your advantage there's like some kind of like level of insanity maybe also coming from this crocodile that i think that you're going to be able to kind of use as your advantage and kind of like draw it out onto land so okay so this is very interesting so uh with the fairies we have the sage and the lady of the harvest so uh, also with the sage, you know, I get the phrase, the blind man sees uh, the sage is also about about time, what I was saying. It's about the, you know, the circle of life, that kind of thing. Um, and the, you know, just the, the seasons that we all go through and it just being time and, you know, being, being the expert and being the wise the wise 
person in this dynamic, having more more experience in this dynamic. And of course, Lady of the Harvest is all about, you know, harvesting what you plant um, and, and also letting go of the dead things. Um, and so, yeah, I'm getting um, images of like, like, I'm kind of getting Beauty and the Beast here for some reason. Um, for like when all the villagers come and, you know, want to like set the castle on fire. I, can't, I haven't watched it in so long, but they have all these torches and they either want to set the beast on fire to kill it to do all of these things and with this fire ant i feel like you're you're wanting to kind of like smoke smoke out this crock um while like not harming this egg somehow um there's all kind of that kind of imagery and also i'm just like getting like knight in chiming armor, like saving and rescuing a princess. Um, you're coming across very, very noble and very, um, like willing to do anything and very like much the, the hero, um, in this story and the crocodile being like the villain. So, okay, this is very, <laughs> this is very interesting. I'm also like with with a hook and everything. Um, I'm also getting um, more more pirate in imagery. So you know this could be, you know, your your treasure chest, and you're willing to like do anything. Also, Elizabeth Swan and what was his name? But Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley, and Orlando Bloom. I'm also getting kind of like that kind of dynamic so yeah i don't know if uh i mean we do have unity here and we have the dark lady so we have unity here which i guess speaks for itself i'm just gonna like try to get all these cards out um and get the full story but yeah unity is either like a ripping away of something which obviously you're doing but i also it's also like a sewing together and then the dark lady is all about you know <laughs> like overcoming the underworld overcoming um hell and the subconscious and becoming awakened it's also an awakening of divine femininity um and you know crescent moon so um, on her forehead, it's all about, um, you know, holding duality, you know, the, the light and dark side of the moon, that sort of thing. We have Mikul and Mukul here, which is about um, being childlike. So yeah, we have the Glanconer. <laughs> it's like so fast. Okay, we have the Glanconer, which is coming up next to the crocodile. So um, the Glanconer is like my narcissist card or having hidden agendas, um, someone that doesn't have your best interests, that is very, very hard. It's just like a bar of slippery soap, very hard to catch, very hard to um, determine their movements. Um, this kind of energy, very taking and selfish, that sort of thing. Um, we also have the fairy godmother, so like gifts, um, coal turning to diamonds and pearls and gems, all the unwanted things in your life being um, turned right into the wanted, you know, uh, pumpkins turning into white horse carriages, that sort of thing. We have, um, oh, that gnome, very trickster energy. So I'm like, it's partly coming, coming next to the crocodile, like this crocodile person is like a trickster kind of person. Um, uh, but also it's just the overall energy that you're in right now as well, Taurus. So, oh my God, there's so much 
data. So, um, so the the gnome pops up sometimes when this is either going to apply to you or if it doesn't, and don't you know take it personally or anything. This is just what the book says about the gnome, and it's like when we become a little bit stagnant and or procrastinating or anything, this trickster comes into our life and shakes up our life to steer us in the right direction and like shake things up and kind of like loosen. I'm also getting the image of, um, you know, batting a rug against like a balcony and shaking out all the dust, shaking out all the unwanted things. Um, you know, also, you know, just like shaking, shaking out like a bag or a purse, flipping it inside out and just shaking out all the, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, something is, it's, yeah, there's a huge message in shaking out the unwanted, using this chaos to like stir things up, um, to, um, this is very scorpionic because it's so interesting. So, um, there, there is an element of air here, you know, I'm seeing like a tornado um, shaking things up to kind of like loose and free all that doesn't serve you. And then there's also an element of fire coming in, uh, which is like destruction and rebirth. So when there's wildfires in nature, it's all about um, dis destroying all the old things, which is the, the lady of the harvest, destroying all the old things, letting go of all the old things. And the fires help remineralize the soil, and so when the forest grows back, it it's just it's just thriving and um, very renewed. So there is also an element of destruction and rebirth here, um, and you know, Mikula Muckle, it's all about child's play again with that Peter Pan uh, kind of. Uh, um, symbology, you know, this is Peter Pan to me. So it's all about, uh, and Peter Pan is also a trickster. So, so I want to say that there was, I also want to say that this, this cobra was a distraction to this crocodile. Like you use this as a distraction somehow. And this cobra kind of got to distract this crocodile while you're kind of doing other things in the background Taurus wow and really at the heart of this is this kind of like child's play uh very free uh trickster energy but also behind that is the dark lady of being in your power and um also like having psychic abilities being very tuned in to maybe the darker themes of this dynamic um, or having a 360 view or understanding or grasp of the situation and knowing the darker elements behind behind this knowing the uh, the darker motivations of this crocodile rather than just saying it's just survival of the fittest or it's just instincts or whatever like you have a good handle on like the darker themes of whatever is going on here and i also want to say that this is you know it's also about liberation and um the divine feminine principle of of being open and receptive um not just to the light but also shadow and and everything like that um so Ooh, wow this is this is amazing this is this is actually really amazing and you know you have the wisdom too here so I think you actually used you even distracted me Taurus so um so you're definitely distracting this uh, this crocodile so I think you used actually I don't think you're the you're the cobra just an aspect or something is the cobra that's distracting this crocodile and the crocodile is like just um you know, I'm getting like ants in his pants, you know, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like totally freaking out. And meanwhile, you have the sage, you have so much wisdom, you have so much life experience. 
um, here and you have a really good understanding of like maybe the darker themes or a 360 degree view or grasp or understanding of what's going on um, and you can predict maybe the movements of this crocodile and there's some kind of liberation so i don't know if there's something that you're planning that's very secret uh you have like a secret plan of getting back this black egg um so i think that you know there are i like yeah i don't know there's like some kind of plan that you have um to kind of deviate this crocodile and get in there and um and grab the black egg when it's not looking or to to escape from something to leave a job to leave um a marriage or a relationship or a dangerous situation um or, or something like that and so there's this theme of you ripping away the old uh from the new ripping away from this crocodile from this narcissist from this very selfish taking energy of some kind and kind of sewing back together uh what you want the things that you do want that are going to be life enhancing and uh and that might be like all you have but that's everything um you know with also the peter pan energy i want to say that like maybe you're you're sewing together like a whole new reality like such as neverland um rebuilding something of some kind um and i want to like there's also this theme of reclamation reclaiming your innocence reclaiming your your birthright uh reclaiming it's all about reclamation reclamate reclaiming your freedom reclaiming your creativity reclaiming um just like who you are you know your power something to that effect and allowing the pieces fall where they fall and allowing the dead things to just fall and let nature take its course in a way um and so there's that feminine principle again allowing the the dead things the rotting things even to to fall and allow nature to to clean to clean it up let let karma clean it up <laughs> let the universe clean it up and um and so we <laughs> we also have two women here with just full everything just voluptuous bodies here and are just totally liberated and totally free and totally owning who they are and um and you know and embracing their their feminine energy and of course if you're a man this this isn't this isn't gender gender specific this is just all about owning who you are and and kind of you know with the har the lady of the harvest her her eyes are just like, do I care? No. Um, just, yeah, like, it, and, you know, she also reminds me of kind of Marilyn Monroe with that, like, almost like, I just woke up. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it's just, and kind of, um, also, there's a lot of Peter Pan energy here for some reason um you know with with peter pan he is the guiding force and and there is like so much going on in neverland it's like it's like chaos but it's like peaceful it's like orderly chaos it's like delightful chaos so i think maybe you're turning um malevolent or unwanted chaos into kind of like fun fun variety and chaos you know i say that because of like the lost children and um and tinkerbell you know uh because she she also likes to cause trouble and be and be feisty and um and everything like that and um and there's just so many like hidden treasures and all of these things you know neverland is such a a diverse 
uh, world and and but but Peter Pan is like leading the way and is guiding the way and maybe the way he does things might not make sense but it's like he has this whole plan and so he might it's like creating creating chaos to actually create organization or or um, you know making something right it's yeah there's you're definitely mixing it up. You're definitely mixing it up to kind of shake loose um, either the things that don't serve you or shake loose the treasures um, in your life. Um, and I want to say that also your your energy is like swarming towards towards this black egg or you know whatever this represents to you. Um, and also it's like universal energy is like swarming around you and is on your side and and supporting you in this this plan of of escape or reclamation or freedom or whatever it is and you're going to experience more more unity and more harmony and more partnership and more support um more things working for you i feel like there in the past there was like a lot of things working against you and so i think that there is this feeling of like you're you're secretly planning something um, and it's about to come into the light or you're about to do it. Uh, you're about to leave your job. You're about to leave a toxic relationship, um, you know, something like that. And, and you're going to be able to feel childlike again and more free and all things like that and all the all the ugly pumpkins and everything in your life are going to turn into white horse, white horse carriages. Um, and you know, you're just going to be able to totally reinvent yourself. So everything will be, will be a new again. So, wow, Taurus, this is, this is amazing. I'm going to see if there's any last remaining advice, um, or messages for you from, from spirit. Wow, we actually have soulmates here. So yeah, exactly. We're you're gonna have a lot more support and companionship and partnership um, after this. And you might even be, I mean, oh wow. Okay, yeah, I think that there might be there might okay, with yeah, with this crossover, there might be like like you're jumping ship in some way, like you're like leaving like a crappy job for like a so much better job or you're leaving a crappy relationship for a so much better one uh <laughs> um and so yeah there's something like that like i just i just got an image of you just like leaping across like a ship so like you're ju like you're jumping ship in some way so i yeah i don't know if you are like running into the arms of your soulmate or just something better i am kind of wondering if i need to say anything because usually that's not like the healthiest thing to do <laughs> um as ter and like in terms of like a relationship um or like making like a really sudden decision like that so just keep that in mind, but I feel like for the majority of Tauruses, you know, you are very, very grounded and this isn't really usually your nature, so I think that you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, we also have clean it up, so yeah, you are like cleaning up like a huge effing mess here um, with the lady of the harvest, you know, letting all the dead things just like, just like go away and this like narcissist crocodile whatever um so yeah there's like a lot of i want to say like physical things and people and energies and all of that that you are in the midst of cleaning up cleaning up your vibe uh cleaning up your life um just getting all of that bad juju out of your life 
Okay, so yeah, you are build like building blocks. You got building blocks, so you're building a whole new future reality. Um, so I think that for at least one of these Taurus, one of you Tauruses, um, you're leaving a very damaging, toxic, bad situation and you're you're going somewhere a lot healthier and i do feel that this is actually very good and very healthy and this is and this is going to be a place where you can really gain momentum and really be yourself and gain and build a really strong foundation and wow we have regeneration so like this is totally, you know, like the wildfires that I was talking about, you know, you, you just, you just lit a match to the room of requirement, you know, I'm just kind of like getting that, like it's like you just, you just fling, I'm just seeing you like throw this like lit match in slow motion to whatever and you're just like leaving um but yeah there's there's a whole regeneration that you are going through where you've like burned and destroyed everything and you're just building from the ground up from a totally brand new slate um clean slate and obviously if you didn't need another sign this is your big sign and big flashing lights that this crocodile the situation this work environment whatever it is is not for you taurus you deserve the best you deserve to be loved in the way that you want to be loved you deserve the amount of money you want to receive you deserve to be treated in the way you want to be treated you deserve it all and you deserve so much better wow taurus i am so proud of you i'm so proud of you for leaving this mess and um rebuilding your life the way you want it to be and so much support and love and encouragement and guidance and you know playful innocence and everything like that is just like totally on your side and you are so wise and you're so smart and you're so powerful and all of that amazing stuff um i'm so proud of you big applaud for taurus this is this feels like you have overcome some kind of like huge family pattern you've like you've the the evil spell is broken basically you have like overcome something so huge and so climactic like this could be a movie i think like this really feels like you've broken free on some in like a huge profound way like you've broken so much of your ancestral trauma you know like this is like really really deep stuff you know um, all like when we're, when we're born into families, we inherit, unfortunately, ancestral trauma and like we can hold that in our bodies and, and everything. But you work through that to the core where you've broken free from, from some kind of like bonding, controlling, heavy energy and you're just, you're just breaking free from all of that. So I applaud you big time. Like your life is never going to be the same again after this um, in a really good way, in the best way possible. Um, so, wow. Yes, you rock. You are a freaking rock star. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, Torres. Uh, know that you are so, so loved. You are never, ever alone and be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Big kiss. Bye, Torres. Bye.